there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord's Tarot. I'm going to be doing your tarot forecast from the 24th of September through to the 30th. I went ahead and shuffled the cards and laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. First of all, we have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Next, we have the Two of Cups upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Tower in reverse. And next we have the Three of Pentacles in the Upright. And lastly, we have the Six of Pentacles in the Upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. You only have one Major Arcana in the read, so there's just a little bit of intense energies going around for you guys. And I want to know one thing. Averting a disaster again. You guys get this card an awful lot. <laughs> just saying. Mm. Okay, your overall energy, you have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse position. And the Four of Pentacles, again, I prefer to see this energy in the reverse position because when it's upright, this is someone, this can represent, I call it my hoarder card, can represent hoarding. Um, we're holding on too tightly to something in some area of our lives. But it's nice to see that for you guys. It's in the reverse position, so perhaps some of you guys are letting go of things that no longer serve you. Um, this can represent uh, feeling ready to let go of maybe some uh, things that are tangible in our lives, like possessions. We're ready to, um, you know, purge the old clothing and the old uh, belongings from our home and uh, maybe give them to a uh, charitable donation or something. So this is really good energy to see. I always like to see the Four of Pentacles reverse because it means that we're we're letting go. Holding on too tightly to anything can cause resistance to the universe. It's not really recommended, but we all get into those positions from time to time. But when uh, it's in the reverse position, it's really good to see that there's a loosening of energy and no longer resisting something we're letting things go and giving it up so that's really good to see for you guys as overall energy coming into the week of the 24th you have the two of cups in the upright position really nice to see this card represents a a special relationship we all have certain people like say a best friend or a relationship partner or a family member that we get along really really well with um, this can even represent meeting someone on that level where we just click with them. This is where we see eye to eye completely with a per another person. They get us and we get them. Really good energy to see for you guys coming right into the week of the 24th. It's paired then with the energies of Major Arcana, the, the tower in the reverse position. This is the card that I was saying that you uh, Saggies tend to get this card a lot lately um, when it's in the upright position this is you know the tower is like where things are sort of coming apart can definitely uh, point to a disastrous situation but usually it's not that dramatic um, it's uh, the tower upright energy is just basically uh, things that were built on faulty foundation are now kind of coming crumbling down when it's in the reverse position however it could be representing that we have averted if it was a disaster that we were heading towards and it could have been for some of you maybe you were once holding on to something uh, so tightly and it was about to cause a disaster you felt that energy instinctively and have decided to release and let go and therefore you averted a disaster and for others of you, it could just be representing, um, you know, uh, maybe you, there are things in your life that really uh, need to come down and uh, you're not, you're kind of avoiding it. Maybe certain situations or certain relationships are, have really out, um, have, um, what am I trying to say here? They've, they've past their their due date <laughs> certain areas in your life have passed their due date and you're just not there's an unwillingness to let go and rebuild so for some of you remember it's just a general read so it's going to be different for all of you uh some of you maybe you're just holding on to a situation just sort of like the last remnants of it 
where it really needs to go and it really needs to kind of the walls need to come down and you're just postponing that but for most of you I think you may have um, sidestepped a potential situation that could have blown up and the reason I say that is because your overall energy being the, the four of pentacles in the reverse so that would indicate that you were letting go so this could just be representing because you have let go of this it's now you're sidestepping something that could have been you know a little bit on the disastrous side now moving towards the weekend the energies change a bit this is the weekend of the 29th you have the three of pentacles in the upright position um, the three of pentacles is that of working towards a, a common goal with others so you have two cards here sagittarius that indicate uh, working well with others one on the emotional front where we're seeing eye to eye with somebody that means a lot to us on a heart level and here this card can represent working well with others on tangible things such as in a work situation maybe uh, getting along well with um, the people we work with co-workers uh, for others of you it could be working on a project together with others and you're all on the same page and work well done kind of thing and you're patting each other on the back <laughs> so this is this is really good uh, energy for getting along with other people now towards the this is the last card you have the six of pentacles in the upright position this represents the end of the reading at the end of the week and the end of the month because it is the 30th so you come out of the month week uh week read <laughs> the month week read that's very hard to say um with the energies of the six of pentacles beautiful energy this card represents balance and harmony and generosity where we are working with others and others are working with us to sort of balance the scales and this is really good energy for any of you who say are looking for a loan or or help with a mortgage or something like that it's it's this card represents a yes uh, chances are it will go in your favor this card can also represent generosity coming from you towards someone else so maybe you're feeling uh, generous to help out say a family member a co-worker or a friend so this overall is actually a very progressive and and very nice reading for you guys I'm I'm happy to see this here it looks like if there was a potential problem there you sidestepped it again <laughs> you're making some pretty good decisions Sagittarius just keep it going and on a financial and work front security front it looks like the things are pretty good you end the month off with uh, on a good note so I hope this reading helped you Saggy. if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe until next week bye for now